The World COPD Day is recognized this year on the 15th of November. COPD stands for Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease and it's a fairly common disease uh, affecting um, perhaps 4% of the population of India. This is usually caused by uh, cigarette smoking and air pollution which may be outdoor resulting from industrial activities as well as by vehicles and we also have indoor air pollution caused by the burning of fossil fuels like firewood, coal, etc. Now the manifestations of COPD are cough, breathlessness and phlegm and this is such a common symptom that it can often be um, undiagnosed for quite some time. People's breathlessness often brings them to the doctor and the diagnosis is made by the history, by the physical examination as by doing some um, basic investigations like lung function tests, the spirometry. Once it is recognized, the disease has to be treated with medication, often by way of inhalation, which is by far the uh, safest way of administering the medication. And in cases of asthma, which is a different disease, the symptoms can be often very similar, but the response to treatment is often more dramatic in case of asthma compared to COPD. COPD also produces an excess of mucus and phlegm, and this can be seen by patients, especially those who smoke, who cough up quite a bit of phlegm first thing when they wake up in the morning. Once COPD develops and the patient continues to smoke, unfortunately, despite all the treatment, the lung function continues to deteriorate, eventually leading to respiratory failure and the patient requiring oxygen support and sometimes even more to sustain life. Now, COPD can become worse periodically due to infection and this you will see are more common in certain seasons of the year, especially during the winter when infections are more common. And these infections can be prevented by appropriate vaccination and by other preventive methods like washing of hands and keeping a distance and barriers and so on. Now, COPD's treatment often consists of bronchodilators which can be given by oral or inhaled method, but inhaled methods are preferable because a smaller dose of medication can be used compared to oral medication and therefore there are far less side effects in patients who use inhaled medication and the efficacy is also found to be uh, better. The infections when once they are recognized they are treated with antibiotics and at that time it's very often necessary to give a short course of corticosteroids orally which would improve the lung function at that time. Unfortunately, many patients who have a relentlessly progressive course of the COPD can lead to respiratory failure, which will require them to have ventilatory support, which can sometimes be temporary, but sometimes can be even permanent. So to prevent this, obviously the best method is to prevent people from smoking and a reduction in the air pollution levels, um, which are both definitely possible. So I do hope that people get the message that COPD is basically a preventable disease and by preventing it millions of lives can be saved every year.